Ain't that a shame? 
me, babe Tell me what's on your mind Well, I'm sitting here thinking about you Honey, I can hardly keep from crying Feel so bad, baby Like my heart trying to jump a beat Feel so bad Feel like my heart trying to feel for me
I've had the blues from the toenail blues to the last strand of hair in my head. Blues, all kind of blues. I've had the hungry blues. I had the hard working blues. I've had the thirsty blues. I've had all kind of blues. I had the work sick blues. I had the motherless blues and the fatherless blues. I was born with the sister and brotherless blues. Blues is just a feeling. Blues is a burden. I love the life I live and live the life I love. And God give me the talent to express these blues to whomever the heart decides to listen. But right now I'm gonna express them all. Books went to the ocean, the ocean into the sea. Sometimes I feel like. Baby, come home to me. Been to the ocean, ocean, and into the sea. If I don't find the woman I'm loving, somebody sure gon' bury me.
call the blues. I got a lot of fellas say that the blues is named blues so many different things, but the blues is any kind of burden you ever had. I've had the blues, I know the blues, the raising the bone in the blues, raising the blues, and still into the blues. But it's an expression for me. All my life I've had the blues. I'm steady having the blues every now and then, but not like the beginning. The beginning of the blues of my life. 74 years ago, I was born in Mississippi, east of Leland, out on the boat, on a little plantation. Ain't too many people know anything about nothing like that. I was born out in a cotton patch. My mother had to lay on a cotton sack. That was the beginning of my birth. I never had no sisters or brothers. I began to realize what the blues was all about when I was about seven years old. I had everything to do myself. I wanted to go play, I didn't have anything to play with. Nobody to play with, I didn't have nothing to do with. Cut wood, feed the pigs, feed the cows, and milk the cows get the wood in, sometimes didn't have nothing to eat, after my mother cooked, intended to cook, I have ate bread with bread, I didn't know that was the blues then, but at seven years old I began to realize what the blues was all about, everybody around me had sisters and brothers, I never had any, I raised up Jimmy Reed and I wasn't too far apart from each other, raised up I was born outside the house and he was born inside of a house. So we both were born in Mississippi by the light of God. Braving God's breath daily. And thank God for me being here now. I started to work when I was eight years old. Worked sometime hungry. Wanted to go to school. Couldn't go to school because I had to work. I was flying a mule at eight years old, carrying water at seven years old. I got begin to get nine years old, I plowed two mules. I got ten years old, I was driving four mules. That's the hardest work you can do on the farm in the state of Mississippi. I stayed right in Mississippi. I had the opportunity to go far north, far anywhere. But I didn't. I wanted to learn what life was. I learned it the hard way. So these is the blues. I stomped my feet, I had the blues. Break my toenail, I had the blues. So I had the blues from the bottom of my feet to the top of my head. I know the blues. I raised in the blues, did the blues. I have lived the blues. Still living in the blues. I have work hungry, work sick. I was hurt so bad, didn't have no sisters and brothers. That's a worry. That was a burden on me. My mother couldn't have no more because of my burden. Fifteen minutes later, before I was ready to start showing up crying after my birth. But so much for that. I learned everything you could know up to 17 years of age. I left and went north to Detroit, Michigan, where my cousin. Beatrice lived, lived with her. Set up a lot of time with my head down. It's a false what's the matter, I said. Nothing. Just thinking about my past life. She said, you can make it good up here. Said, yeah, you can have the blues here too because I got the blues here. Up there, I got hungry. I left there, come back and went in service. Stayed in service three years, nine months, 21 days. Thank God I overcome that and got back home, went back to Mississippi, ate another year, decided I'd find out you know, what the northern blues were. I found out that you can live just as good in Mississippi as you can in the north. People think that, a lot of people think that 
The blues was way back yonder, but the blues is right here now. Only thing you can do now, what you couldn't do then, is say yes and no. And say profane language at the wrong particular places. And you shouldn't be embarrassed at it. But I lived the life I love, and I loved the life I live, and my mother always taught me ever since I was six years old. She said, do as God say, to love everybody. Don't take no spite out on nobody because you cannot. Be yourself. God will bless you. God will bless me to get up to 74 years old. You're so close to 75. It's just two months off. September the 19th, I'll be 75 years old. I was going too fast, I think, one time. So God, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to take your life, but I'm going to slow you down. When you go too fast, you can't be slowed down. My mother used to tell me to don't play the blues. So, Mom, I'm not singing the blues. I'm expressing my past life. I'm proud that I'm able to do this. I'm proud that I was born where I was. Because I can express these things to her. The young people that wouldn't understand what the blues is all about. A lot of people think the blues, I've talked to B.B. King, Muddy Water, the Walter, a lot of other people. Little Muddy Water was the only man that told me that the blues is the life that you live. B.B. King. B.B. King and a lot of others said, uh, blues is because of your woman gone. But it's vice versa, your man can be gone. That's the only thing I got in blues. Blues is just a feeling. Make you cry, make you mad, and it'll make you laugh. Oh yeah, this is my infrared. Hey. Hey. 